hospital has been tremendously proactive. Um, we've been conserving personal protective equipment or things like masks, gowns, face shields for weeks here, uh, reusing them the way that the Centers for Disease Control is now recommending. But we're doing that because we're gearing up for the fact that we are not getting large shipments in and that we can foresee a time when it would be possible to run out. Um, unfortunately, that reuse is something that is being seen across the country, and it is not what is recommended in normal times. Usually, most of this equipment is disposable. As we see rising number of patients with symptoms consistent with COVID-19, um, it's putting my colleagues, not just locally, but across the country, um, on edge. Uh, the previous segment talked about the coming tsunami, and depending on which emergency department you're in in the United States, you feel like you're waiting for the wave to hit, or you feel like it's already coming into the shore. Um, and, and here in Rhode Island, we are certainly starting to feel that, that rising wave. What do you need most tonight, doctor? And if you could speak directly to the president and his task force, what would you say? So the thing that we need most tonight is increased production of personal protective equipment, things like masks, gloves, N95 respirators, hand sanitizer, equipment like ventilators. And then we need the government to be in charge of figuring out who needs it and getting it to the right health system in the right state at the right time. Uh, that is absolutely what we need. We're not asking for the government to serve as shipping clerks, um, as President Trump said a couple days ago, but we are looking for the government to step up and to help coordinate, to support all of us on the front lines. Can you tell us about the website that you started? It's getuspppe.org. Yeah, so we as physicians and nurses, in conjunction with a large software development community, have created this grassroots effort to try to get protective equipment for ourselves because we are not seeing it come from up above, because our state governments and healthcare systems are so limited in terms of what they can get. We've set up this website, getuspppe.org, which is basically matching people who can make donations with healthcare systems or individual healthcare workers who need it. You know, again, my hospital is well prepared, but individual clinics, smaller hospital systems, are running out or have already run out. There's even a line on the CDC website saying that healthcare workers should use bandanas when everything else runs out. Let me be clear, that is not effective at protecting us from getting sick. And if we get sick, then we can't help patients. So getusppe.org is to help uh, link folks together and use that American ingenuity while we hopefully see the government start to step up. We'll